Hi, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Looking Up with Up42, uh, where we reach out to industry leaders and talk to them about some of the problems that our industry is facing and how we'd like to solve them together. So Up42 is a developer platform and a marketplace, and we really aim to make sure that we're able to provide uh, access to satellite imagery and reduce the barriers to entry to you to derive insights from satellite imagery. And I'm very happy today to have with me Maria Hochleitner, who is a sales manager at European Space Imaging in Munich. Uh, Maria recently wrote uh, an opinion piece in, on LinkedIn entitled The Future of Commercial Satellite Imagery Business Model. Uh, and Maria's article was also a response to, to another editorial entitled The Commercial Satellite Imagery Business Model is Broken by Joe Morrison. So um, welcome, Maria. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Thank you so much. So Maria, since many of our viewers and listeners probably haven't had the chance to read these articles yet, why don't you give us a quick overview of the discussion? Maybe I quickly just summarize what Joe's article was about because mine was basically um, a response to that. So um, the title already says it, um, the commercial satellite imagery business model is broken. Um, so in this article, Joe basically described that for him, the, the idea of the commercial satellite imagery business model does, is just an idea basically, but does not actually match with reality that much and that he thinks that all of the commercial applications and use cases um, that are being advertised by also the big um, imagery providers are just ideas but not actual business models and that we're not really reaching a commercial market and that the industry is not adapting fast enough to the pace of the modern world and these new business models and that actually um, Although these companies advertise um, real life use cases, most of the revenue still comes from defense. And he thinks that that's not gonna change anytime soon. And um, yeah, I wrote a response to that because I was very intrigued um, by Joe's article. And I have to say, I do agree with him in some points, but um, in a few points, I also disagree with Joe um, because from what I've seen in the past couple of years, our industry actually is changing. And um, I don't think that a big part of the revenue coming from defense necessarily means that we do not have um, real life applications and new business models coming up. I think actually a lot of them are coming up, have been coming up in the past couple of years. You know, there's an increasing number of, of, of applications, increasing number, a number of people who are reaching out to us uh, who are considered part of the mainstream, long tail developers, researchers, et cetera, who are really starting to use satellite imagery in, 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 in ways that, that, uh, that as, as maybe you wrote in your article, have, have otherwise been existing on pamphlets only or ideas. Uh, and I, I start to see this as very encouraging as well. I mean, we're starting to see use cases, particularly around um, vegetation management, um, economic monitoring, forestry, agriculture, et cetera, becoming more and more mainstream. And particularly through some of the work we're doing with uh, Africa for Future and, and the um, German Development Corporation gets, we're starting to see more and more interest from startups using this technology to solve some of the customer's problems. Um, I do also see that it's a very long-term project though. You know, this is, not, this is a transformation that's not gonna happen overnight. Uh, it's definitely an industry that moves slowly, um, but I, I'm also very encouraged to see the direction that it's headed in. Maybe a follow-up question, Maria. You, you focused on, in your article, uh, about three ways that the satellite imagery industry can improve uh, through education, marketing, and, and also changing the way we, we do business. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about like your response to Joe's article and expanding on those three topics. Yeah, totally. Uh, let's start with education. One thing that I see a lot in our um, field is that um, we as the Earth Observation Industry and, and many, many companies in that industry um, they develop amazing technologies and they know so much about their products and about technical possibilities and developments. And the fault of that is that we think we know exactly what the customers from other fields, from other industries want and will want in future without even, have, without even having talked to one of those customers ever before. So I think that's one really, really big thing that needs to improve. We cannot assume what 
the mass market wants. We have to listen to the customers. And um, that's why I love my current job because I am listening to customers every single day. And then education also in the other way, um, we have to educate the customers and the future customers, especially from other industries. And we cannot talk to them in the same way that we talk to customers from our industry, from the space industry, because we're only going to scare them off like that. Uh, if, if I may just uh, put in an sure. anecdote there, I heard someone say the other day that the problem we face in our industry is, is, is you know, what you've just described is kind of the same as if someone from, from the internet industry was going around talking about TCP IP protocols, trying to convince people that the internet is a good place to do business, right? These are two yeah. different levels of abstraction and talking about the problem. problem. Uh, and, and this is something that we as an industry need to learn. Like, how do you abstract away the complexity of satellite imagery, of analytics ready data, of machine learning, yeah. et cetera, and focus on the, on the customer problem? Exactly. And that's exactly, that's our job. That's not the customer's job to educate themselves necessarily on all of these technical things. That's our job to present our products to them in a way that they can understand it. And it's, it's my job um, in sales in particular to understand uh, on which level my customer is and how I have to explain um, all of the details of the technical products to them. And the same goes for marketing. I mean, if we want to reach the commercial market with satellite imagery, we have to do what you do in a commercial market, and that is mainly marketing. It is like that. How else are you going to reach all of those people? So that's a, a really big part. And I think, but I think that's developing right now. We see it on LinkedIn. We see it on, on social media that all of the big companies also slowly start um, creating content and easy to digest content. And I really love seeing that. Yeah, we're, we're noticing it not only from the big companies, but there's a, you know, there's a lot of activity increasing from, uh, from startups in the industry as well. It's definitely not something that one company can do on their own, right? It's, it's going to be an, an effort from the entire industry to, to reach that, that longer, the longer tail commercial market. Um, over over a period of time, great. So um, let's talk about the the elephant in the room, changing the way we do business. So obviously, changing the way that a whole industry is working for years is is difficult, but it's also critical. What do you think are the main problems? What changes do you have in mind, and and how do we get started? But I think where we can start is exactly uh, where we are starting right now, just talking about that stuff and talking about the business side of things. We need to talk to startups. Um, that have the new crazy ideas. We need to um, exchange topics and, and ideas and stuff like that. I think that's some, the most important part and, and speak up. I mean, the question always comes, where, where do you see um, the industries going? Where are we gonna be in the next five to 10 years? And I think what we need to do is just look at the mass market, just look at any other industry, like where are we all going? That's exactly where our industry is going because we're moving the exactly same direction. So what's going to come is all of this stuff like platforms, AI, um, pay as you go, um, products on demand, all of that stuff, that's what's going to come. We will see in, in what form and when it will arrive to our industry, but that's what's going to come for sure, no so matter what people say. You've got me smiling here, Maria, because all of the things that you just mentioned uh, around the on-demand and, and pay-as-you-go and AI and platforms, obviously, this is a big focus of, of Up42 as well. Uh, and I must say that that you know we're starting to see interesting conversations with some of our data suppliers as well, where we, we have a first conversation with the data supplier um, and they'll they'll have a response something along the lines of what you want us to do business like that. There's no way. But then after a few conversations, you know, and explaining why and how and and how things would then uh, open up to to the, the rest of the the, the users of Up42, they start to warm up to the idea and start to become willing to experiment and to at least try and have that dialogue, have the conversation, explain where the problems are, try to get people to see things from a, a different perspective, and you'll be surprised what what comes out of it. Exactly, and stop bullying the data providers also, <laughs> because, <laughs> I mean, the industry is as it is right now, but not everything is bad right now. The industry has been shaped through the past decades, and, and that's how it developed. 
and look at where we are now. We are collecting countless data every single day. That's like incredible when you think about that. And it will develop further. Um, and all it takes is just a conversation, as you said. Yeah. Now, we're certainly entering very exciting times. And I mean, we've got a lot of new constellations coming and a lot of new launches coming up. Uh, also, a lot of platforms that are that are looking to, to make uh, downstream use of this data. So I definitely think we're entering some exciting times. But as you mentioned, it, it, it's going to be a while uh, before we really are able to 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 reach the mainstream, but of course it starts with uh, starts with a conversation, starts with having conversations like this. Um, so Maria, thank you very very much uh, for for joining us today. Uh, maybe you would like to offer some closing thoughts and and also um, you know let people know where they can get hold of you. Yeah, totally. Um, what would be a nice closing thought? Maybe I can uh, encourage everyone who is watching this right now and who most probably is from our industry. Um, to just go and tell one person today who is not from our industry about satellite imagery <laughs> and what what can be done with satellite imagery. That would be really great, I think, and that would be a nice first step. And um, yeah, thank you very much for having me today, Sean, and um, where you can get a hold of me, um, LinkedIn, my name is Maria Hochleitner, uh, or you can find me via European Space Imaging, of course, we provide awesome satellite imagery. <laughs> and um, yeah, just reach out to me. I'm always happy to have a conversation. Fantastic. Then thank you very, very much, Maria, for joining us. Um, this was uh, Looking Up with Up42. If you'd like to find out more about Up42, you can find us at www.up42.com. Thank you very much. Until next time. Bye-bye.